Hi right, Tracy. Hi right, Tracy. Just got to sort all this rubbish out first. Shelby, William, Ivan, Paul, Tracy, how's it going? Can you just pull that camera up a little bit, please, dear? That's it. Hmm. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah, that's better. Huh? Yeah. Where's the rum? The rum is here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mad fishing. Woo! You're in yet another room. Yeah. Got five graves to dig tomorrow. Jesus. Mate, you gotta help me. I'm shaving my head for... Million. Get a Trump tattoo. Oh, you're brave. <laughs> yeah, you wish, mate. Is that Jen? Yeah, Jen's, Jen's just gone down for a ciggy. Look forward to your new uploads most days. Cheers, mate. You and your missus going to watch the meteor shower? Probably not, mate. I'm not that bothered. Hello from Portugal, oi oi, Scott Harris, Ryan Rowe, how's it going? Bargain. I just need to get all this stuff sorted. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Bargain. Hey Smash, love both your vids today. Cheers. Cheers Jules. i got one more to go yet. Uh, that'll probably upload that in a couple of days, though. Where are you from? Guernsey Channel Islands. We're in between France and England. Uh, Jay. Oh, Portsmouth Angler. Loving the underwater footage, mate. Cheers, mate. I love that conga, the way it was spinning up. That was great. Random question, Jay. I'm starting my channel off. Any advice for a newbie? Yeah, just go for it, mate. Upload whatever you've got. And, uh... The trick with YouTube is just keep a steady upload. And uh, yeah, and just keep going. Even if it takes years, just keep going. Happy genders behind the cam. Uh, then you can't scare the sh out of me when you're yelling into the cam. Adjusting it. <laughs> no problem. Skyquake. Yeah, thanks for commenting. I see you commenting a lot lately. Saltwater lure fishing. Good water conditions. There for you at the moment. Yeah, the water's actually really clear now. So uh, I'll be trying some bass fishing soon. Ah, beautiful. Hey, Smash, Season Fox. Uh, nice videos, my man. Cheers, Kieran. Uh, we had great fun recording those. Uh, we've been lucky. Especially with the video that I'm going to upload. You see the size of this crab. It's a beast. Uh, Sam finally got it. He kept getting uh, he kept getting crab uh, crabs going underneath the wheel, and he finally got that big one. Thought you were off the bed, uh, and glorious. I can never sleep, mate. So why not, eh? I've had like two or three hours the last two days, so today ain't gonna make any difference. So I might as well go live. Bye, right, Jay. Dad. How's it hanging, Sam Samuel? Any tips for cooking periwinkles? Yeah, just boil them. They're good as they are, to be fair. Even and all right, Jason. All right, Carl. Uh, 
I've been watching Smash Fishing for a few weeks now. Found it scrolling for YouTube. Absolutely love it. Great, great footage. Always good, good videos. Love Sam the man. Very few words. Yeah, Sam's always been like that. Uh, he's not a big talker, but he loves making the videos of me. He's a good egg, old Sam. And he redeemed himself the other day with this crab. You wait until the next video and watch how big the bloody crab is. What's your absolute favourite seafood to forage and eat? At the moment, it's definitely spider crab. But um, I've got a multitude of things that I love eating, to be fair with you, mate. I really enjoy your vids, mate. Fun, interesting, delicious and beautiful. Cheers. Appreciate that. Uh, we've been exploring and learning about sea creatures. In my class will be watching one of your videos. Nice one. That's interesting. Um, uh, Inglorious Fishing Vids are great too. Yeah, Inglorious is a great channel. Definitely. I, I love Inglorious. I'm I'm so surprised he hasn't got more subs, to be honest with you. I, it amazes me that he hasn't got more. Love the video of the crabs caught in the wheels. How big was that eel? That eel wasn't massive. I would have thought about eight or nine pounds. Maybe a bit less. It wasn't huge, but it was an aggressive one. Because uh, we filmed eels before, and they've just come up to the bait, mouthed it a little bit, and swum away and never came back. But that one came in, and like you've seen, it just come in and just munched it. Uh, I always love it when they start death rolling and that, it's great. Uh, are you going to do some Ormoran videos on the tide next week? Yes I am. Last tides of the year, I've got to get out. Uh, I think the tides are like a 1.5. So, it's going to be hard going, man. Love watching you and Sam. Cheers, Jessica. Sam, I love a nut a talker. Yeah, he's a catcher of fish, Ryan, you know it. Shout out Portsmouth Angler. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm laid off. Uh, from from a drilling rig. Keep the vids up. Cheers, Chris. Let's give Smash Fishing a thumbs up. Yeah, hit that like button, guys. Yeah, I may look a steak because I'm absolutely tired at the moment, but I just can't sleep very well. Let's get the super chat going. Here's a quid. <laughs> Cheers, Jake. Uh, shout out the Portsmouth Angler. That's another brilliant channel. Ever poisoned yourself from a catcher cook? Never. Never, ever, ever. Um, as, as, as hyperactive and crazy as I am, I'm very careful. I'm very careful with what I'm doing. Um, got to have more than one favourite. Uh, otherwise, gets bored. Different times of year, different pickings. Yes. Uh, same as like we get the spider crab season, we get the squid season. Lobsters are here all year round, but the big ones are around now, as you've seen from the foraging videos. But, um, yeah, that's what it's all about. Have you tried snorkeling for spider crabs? Yes, I've done that a lot in the past, and I plan to do some more. But uh, when, I can't tell you, really. Scott giving a recipe again. Um, da -dee -dee -dee. The conga death roll surprised me. Yeah, they're quite vicious. When they actually do go for a bait, uh, yeah, they're quite vicious the way they spin off and that. Same, you can't catch decent spiders. <laughs> uh, ever thought of taking people out as a guide? No, I'm not interested in that, Jessica, to be honest with you. Uh, mainly because as well, it's like insurance and stuff like that. If people get hurt, you know, I'd feel awful if I took someone out and they got hurt. I don't mind me and Sam and Inglorious and stuff like that because we, we've always been on the rocks and stuff so we're very used to it. We're going down the beach tomorrow, nice one. Uh, that death roll, uh, important, it is. Use decent swivels, yes you're right Andy. Um, definitely. Uh, even two swivels. Uh, especially with the, con uh, the small congas, especially. The big ones will just engulf your mackerel and eat it. But the, the little ones will just spin you up. And that's why you see on some of the conga videos, we get the, uh, well, as you know, Andy, you're a fisherman, but um, on the hooks, you'll see the trace being bound around the hook. And that's exactly what happens to your bait. Bring the underwater cam on your snorkel. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, I'll film the whole trip. Uh, what's your favourite rig to use? Uh, what for, David? Depends what, you're, what for, mate. Um, 
and you can catch some spiders. Uh, Jay, if there was one country you had to fish for the rest of your life, where would it be outside of the UK? Mine would be Costa Rica. Yeah, I'd probably agree with you. Uh, I don't know too much about everything outside, but in the UK, definitely here. I'd stay here. Uh, I love Guernsey. Don't, I'm very much a Guernsey boy, but Costa Rica, from what I've seen on YouTube and the internet and that, it looks really good. Will eels attack a spider crab? No. Uh, if you ever held a spider crab, their shell is really thick. Uh, they're a really solid crab. The congas won't be able to bite them. Unless they're molting, then they will eat them. Um, what am I? Shout out to Portsmouth Angler. New spider... Yeah, I love your glow beads, man. You've done a good, you've done a good thing there. Anyone want some glow beads, go check out the Portsmouth, Portsmouth Anglers page. Um, Evie just wanted to let you know. Oh, what have I missed? Uh, Evie. Have I missed a comment from? We're going down the beach tomorrow. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Oh, I hope you, hopefully you do well, mate. What are you going after? The spider crabs. The most successful rig for bass. I love the running ledgers. Mainly because if there's a big bass and I'm using a big bait, I like them to run a little bit to swallow it. And then I'll strike. Sup Jay, great videos on the rocks this week. There's more coming Justin, there's one more coming and it's a stonker. Uh, Sam, Sam saved the whole video. Uh, Mary Grace, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Sorry I'm late smash, you don't have to apologise mate. I got distracted by an American girl in waders. <laughs> uh, Portsmouth Angler. For me, it'd be Australia. Fair enough. I haven't done too much research into Australia and what they've got, but um, I'm sure it's good. Are we allowed to forage for two hours because of the rules are hard to understand and I miss it so much? In Guernsey, Lee, we're allowed to fish for two hours. Yeah, as part of your exercise and mental health, obviously. Um, yeah, that's the rules, mate. I hope it stays like that. Because uh, any less, I won't be able to make videos. Two hours is really hard to make a video in. No sharks when you're snorkeling? No, I've never seen a shark. I told a handful of people, uh, a handful of my friends about Smash. Now they are binging the older videos. They are all fishermen, free commercial. Everyone is double thumbs up. Nice, Mikey, appreciate that. Cheers, buddy. Um, sorry, I've just skipped to the bottom again. Would you use second? Would you use the second swivel higher up? Uh, um, yeah, I'd probably go like if I go six inches, then a swivel because the congas like to swallow it sometimes. It'd be good to have a swivel just outside the mouth, and then maybe another foot, and then you will swivel to your main line. Uh, that's what I'm thinking anyway. But if you've got a really good swivel anyway, it will it will take the brunt of it, so it's not too bad. It doesn't appear the places you catch are busy, are they? They are now, after the videos. Uh, there was three divers there the other night. Uh, I told a friend of mine to get down there before the divers turned up. And as he was fishing, he had three big male spiders. And uh, the divers turned up, and apparently they had a massive bag of spiders each. Shows how many were there. But when the, when the divers turn up, uh, that's when it all goes downhill. Because they wipe it. What lure fishing rod and reel would you recommend? I use... For my bass fishing, I use the Pen Regiment 2 with a Pen Battle 2 3000 size reel, a 20 pound braid, and either a 15 or 20 pound fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon leader. And that's it. Uh, that's good for bass fishing as well. It's just we said we're going down the beach. All oh, right, fair play. Nice one. What's the weirdest thing you have ever found on the beach? I'm not going to say. Um, it's an adult instrument. <laughs> How do crabs eat? Sounds like a silly question. Mark, check the underwater footage. You'll see that. What I have learnt with the big spider crabs is that I always thought like they might reach for the bait. They don't. They like they tend to bring their claws in and eat. So that's good to know. Because then the it's good to know that the crabs will go in the wheel to eat eat when they're like really big ones. If that makes sense. Um. 
Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm missing comments here. Yes, hopefully. Oh, that's fine. What's the, oh yeah, right, I'm back, I'm back. Hi, Smash, enjoyed two videos from today. Amazing content, cheers, mate. I often put out an 18 inch running ledger and half a mackerel. Uh, mostly I get conga, but sometimes bloody huge bass too. Yeah, Carl, in the past, with my conga rigs, I've had, that's how I've had some of my biggest ever bass, is throwing out conga rigs. Same as Sam. Um, yeah, you just get that odd massive bass now and again, or a huss or something like that, you know? Yeah, it's true that. Don't get subtle here in North Wales. No fishing whatsoever. I don't know where you're fishing, mate. There's quite a lot of Welsh fishermen that do really well, so uh, I can't give you any advice on the area, but I'm sure there's a few fishermen in here that could. White trout. Is it hooked on? Uh, Brook or... Oh, I don't know, mate. Right, Valerie. Uh, in New Zealand, we're allowed to fish... Until lockdown is over. Fair enough, mate. Uh, here, we're only allowed two hours. Good to watch you, man. Cheers, mate. Uh, for anyone that's watching the live who hasn't before, we, we like to do this just, just to have a chat with you guys. It's just a little chill-out sesh. Watching from Colorado, USA. It's torture since we have very little access to fresh seafood. Love watching you and Sam on your catch and cook up. Uh, ugh, stuck with my words. Uh, catch and cook episodes. Lots of fun watching you guys cook and eat. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Sherman. I have a stepdaughter. I always try to get, uh, try get to go cast net and for bait. But she's so into her tech crap. Yeah, I've, I've noticed a lot, of, a lot of kids and stuff are getting into the channel lately. It's good to see. Um... Love the content, mate. Cheers, mate. High five, buddy. <laughs> um, big shout out from Connecticut, Connecticut, USA. Starting running a lot today. It's like I'm trying to make a rig video. <laughs> what do you do for a living to help? What do you do for a living to help you forage and fish all the time? I'm a full-time YouTuber now. Um, yeah, because of all the uh, corona stuff, basically. Yeah, I won't go into it all. I've, I've said it all before. But, um, yeah, I'm full-time YouTube now. Have you ever caught a Larry in a wheel in that location off the cliffs? Yes, uh, but at night time. Uh, not so much in the daytime. We film them there uh, in the daytime, but we've never pulled one up. Uh, lobsters are one of those things in the wheels you've just got to be lucky that it's in the wheel at the time that spider spider crab you had on that video it looked like it had two two of the same claws uh, spider crabs do have the same claws mate uh, it's, it's lobsters that have usually got a crusher and a pincer claw uh, shout out Jamie have you ever kayak fished? Yeah, there's a video on the channel of us kayak fishing. Uh, I sold my kayak though. Sam, Sam, the hell yeah, man. <laughs> that was sick. I lived in Guernsey and worked at, worked at the Deerhound Inn uh, near the airport. Good food there, mate. It was so haunted. It was mental. I never knew that. I never knew it was haunted. But they do good food there. He loves your channel. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Do they catch sharks off Guernsey? Yes, they do. We get quite a few different sharks around here. Ranking order of preference. Abalone, lobster, and spider crab. Oh, that's a tough one, Chris. Um, abalone burgers. Oh, I don't know. I like them all, mate. Uh, that's a hard one. I don't know. I just like it. Hi mate from Ireland, learned a lot from you buddy, thank you, cheers Mozo. Uh, gripper or no gripper weight, I still use grippers when it's calm. It depends mate, I like grippers with my flapper rigs, because when the fish bot uh, takes the bait and runs, it hooks itself. But um, as for bass fishing, uh, it depends what holds bottom, to be fair with you mate, that's all I ever do. 
could be a four ounce weight, it could be a six ounce, it could be a gripper, depending on the tide. Um, yeah, but either way, at the end of the day, if you're using a running ledger, and it, it can still take line either way, so it doesn't really matter. End of the day, the weight's only there with a running ledger off the beach. It's only there to hold your bait there, you know? Um, good question though, right? Ju Julian, is there a quiet bid in the smash back catalog? Yeah, that's right, Andy. Uh, I'll just skip to the bottom. Jay, where is Gandalf? I have no idea, Barry. <laughs> Are you just trying to wind me up? Good evening, Smashy. Still not getting notifications. Love the wheel fishing videos lately. You're still not getting your notifications? Mad, eh? Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I have put a, uh, a comment into YouTube saying uh, some of my subscribers ain't getting no notified for things, but uh, I haven't heard anything. Obviously, with how things are at the moment, it's not surprising, you know, so we just got to take it as it comes. Uh, there will be another video in two days, so uh, look out for two days. I love seeing the diversity of countries on this channel. Of countries? Uh, oh, right, oh, you mean like in the comments? Yeah, man. We got them from all of Hello from Singapore, there you go. <laughs> Is there anything you can do to catch... The crab under the traps. No, it's just one of those things. Because we've got uh, the big forest kelp. With the, they've got like, big stalks on them. The wheels lay on top. So there's about 12 inches underneath. And that's why the crabs go underneath. But uh, it doesn't always happen. So, uh, a lot of the time, the crab wheel will sit on the rocks. And that's obviously the crabs go in. Uh, it's one of those. It's just a hit and miss. I love to... Uh, 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 Why did I get fan smashed? I always behave, mate. The mods cut me for no reason. Someone else was talking about other channels, not me. I don't know, mate. I didn't even see your comment, to be honest with you. Uh, my mods can be a bit trigger-happy sometimes. It's laying off a bit, lad. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, mate, to be honest with you. I don't know what channel you were talking about or anything. Hi, mate. New subscriber. Great channel. Keep up the great work. Cheers, Nigel. Appreciate you watching. is an, um, an ambassador of fishing world. I, I think that's what I said, mate. <laughs> um, do you have wild garlic there? Yeah, we do. I, I only learned about that the other day. I've been looking up plants and stuff. Uh, I am sorry I am sleepy, but have a good night, lovely. Don't have to apologise. You can go to bed if you want. Um, but yeah, good night. Anywho, mate. Have you ever tried... A section of King Brad for the... Not for the thick lips, mate, but you can catch them on the... Um, with the MEP spinners. The lads over here catch uh, the thin lip mullet. Um, on a MEP spinner with a little trace and a 1-0 hook. Or size 1 hook with a ragworm on. I haven't tried that yet, but I do want to try it. Your videos are very helpful. Yes, you got me into lure fish and cheers, Jay. Nice one, Robert. Nice one. Rob Wah. It's good to know, mate. Uh, how different did the sea life change from your location to Dover? I don't know. Couldn't tell you, mate. I'm a Guernsey boy, so I don't really know a lot about the outside, like, you know who? Can I have a shout out, mate? Then the next coastal fr Nah, sorry, mate. Um, I get that a lot. Can I have a shout out? Can I have a shout out? It's like, nah. If I, if I shout you out, then I've got to shout out the next hundred people who ask me. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, only people I shout out is like Inglorious Fishing because he's a good friend of mine. And um, like family. The next video I shouted out my family, Wayne and uh, Billy. So... Yeah, uh, I apologise to you, mate. It's no nothing against you. It's just I get asked so many times for shout-outs, I just can't do it anymore. How can to keep the noise down in the kitchen? <laughs> Notice you pass on freshly mottled crabs and lobsters. Why? I don't like them. Don't feel the need to take them, to be honest with you, mate. 
Uh, if I find like some lady crabs that are freshly peeling and they're in size, I'll take those for bait. But I won't eat them because I don't like soft crab. Soft for life. Nice one, mate. Woohoo, how's it going, Smash? Uh, K, pretty good, mate. Nice one. Bit tired, but hey ho. Uh, hey from South Carolina, love your channel. Been binge watching your content lately, keep it up. Cheers, mate, appreciate that. Right, I'm gonna have to skip to the bottom, guys. Sorry, I'm getting loads of comments coming in. <laughs> Hi, Smash, love the underwater video today. The conga was super aggressive. Yeah, it was, Catherine. It was really aggressive. And uh, like I said before, not all congas are like that. Uh, some congas just come up and they will like, say that's the bait. They'll come up, mouth it, and then they will let go and swim off and won't come back. But others, like that one, will come in and just tear it up. Yeah, it's quite interesting, especially as, as a conga fisherman, seeing underwater footage of them, it, it tells you a lot. Jay, you get some feathers out off the shore. I'm just waiting for... Um, the Mac would come in a bit more yet. Yeah? What's the population of Guernsey? 60 something thousand. 68,000 I think. Do you have any kids? I don't have kids, no. Do you have to put a weight uh, at the bottom of a crab pot? Uh, I do, yeah, because we've got strong currents here. Uh, and the tide, the tide, if you haven't seen from the videos, the tide lifts up and down a lot. Uh, and that can just swing your, swing your wheel around. If you put some lead... I usually put like three strips on the top and then just a little bit on the bottom just to keep the netting down. Because if your netting's pushed up against your bar where the bait is, the crabs will come underneath and just eat it. So it's always good to put some weight there for the tide and to keep your netting down. So it, it works. Uh, yeah, good question. Uh, hi Smash, how are you tonight? Love the underwater footage. I'm good, thanks mate. I'm in the kitchen, wish I have spider crab or hummus to cook here. <laughs> uh, after watching your vlogs on spider crab, I want to try one now, if, if I can get them in the UK. Uh, I would have thought, yeah, they'd be in the UK as well. Um, spider crabs come in in masses, so I can't see why you wouldn't get them there. I'm pretty sure you do. Thank you for answering my question. You said it's still early in the season for spider crab. When exactly is the season? It can... It can vary. Uh, when I say the season, I'm on about the big male crabs. Uh, sometimes the females come in first and then two weeks later the big males will come in. Or like this year, the big males seem to have come in first. So it all depends. Um. Great video, keep on coming. Only came across the channel last week. Been binge watching, mate. Stay safe, mate. Hope to get over your island sometime in the future. Cheers, mate. Thanks for watching. Right, and Glorious Fishing is in this live stream. Hey, and Glorious, please do live streams too. <laughs> he was live before. Do a video tomorrow, maybe. Uh, smash me and the fella Lee. Love watching your channel. Do you have a hat every day? No! I've got like... I think I've got three hats. I've got this manky old thing that my girlfriend hates. Uh, I paid 30 quid for that hat. Yeah, but I love it. It's great. Keeps the sun off me. And then I've got this one. Um, your videos are very helpful, especially the ground bait for bass. And yes, it works. It does work. Yeah. Not a lot of people do that, but it does work. Um, ale lager stout. One has to go. Probably stout. I like, I like ale and I like lager, so that's, that's my preference, Lola. Have you ever sniffed the brand? <laughs> uh, spider crab. Yeah. Even a smash. How should I start for shore fishing, uh, shore pollock fishing over here? I don't know what grounds you got, mate. Uh, if you know the pollock are there, then just throw some lures. Just see what you get. Um, yeah, and you can change it up from there. Speaking of spider crabs, I thought you meant spider, so I cooked a spider and ate it. How does it taste? I hate spiders. They're horrible.
One has to go crab, shrimp, lobster. Shrimp. Oh, excuse me. Smash, do you know anyone that use a fold kayak for fishing? No. No, I don't, Catherine, to be honest with you. Uh, I know a lot of kayak fishermen, but I don't know anyone like that. Quick question, do you dig your own logworm, ragworm local? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got quite a few marks that we can dig, big uh, like the king rag and stuff like that. But we've also got another worm called berm, or rockworm. And like, they're, they're awesome baits. For bass, those are killer. Big up smash. Great excuse for me to have a gin. Keep up the good work. Cheers, Robert. I'm drinking with you, mate. Uh, hi, Jay. How are you and Sam? Take care. Be well. Greetings from New York. Uh, cheers, mate. Cheers, Deborah. Smash a ground bait. A ground bait sea trout with crushed up hardback crabs drives them, drives them insane. That's interesting. I've never known that. Might have to try that. Because, um... A friend of mine that nets bays, he's been getting some um, some sea trout in the nets. Uh, and he was telling me about it to go try with the lure. So I might try that. Evening, mate. How's the day been? Some nice underwater shots in the last vid. Enjoying seeing the little strap go to work on the mackerel bait. Yeah. Uh, I've been good, mate. Yeah. I haven't been sleeping very much because obviously I've been editing and doing all the other rubbish. But um, yeah, I'm good, mate. But yeah, that conga was cool. That was a cool. That was a cool shot. That. Uh, do you think crab wheels will function for brown crab? Yeah, I've caught big brown crab in them before down the lighthouse. Um, but the thing is, one of those things where brown crab are one of those that you get now and again now because we don't get a huge amount of them anymore. Uh, not unless you're on the deep sandy areas or mixed ground. When you posted eating spider crab, I read it wrong. Uh, accidentally cooked. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. I asked about freshwater foraging the other day. Crayfish, baby. Uh, I haven't tried crayfish, but I'd like to. What beaches would you recommend for collecting scallops and or clam? Also, loving the teddies in the background. They're not mine. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give... I don't give my clam beds away because... The clam beds I go to, if you if you can see them in the video and you know where they are, then fair enough. But um, I won't actively do it on my live where a lot of people are watching. For a simple reason, it will bite me. <laughs> uh, I've learnt that. Good, good, mate. Alright. He's Barry. Jay, use a sand deal. A line through, they are amazing for sea trout fishing. What one of these? Where is it? I found this when I was foraging. <laughs> one of the line through sand eels. Yeah, I'll try that, mate. Cheers to the bass fisherman who lost it. Uh, just beat me. What happened? Oh, I don't even see the hate before you could get rid of it. Really want to try dogfish. What would you... Uh, what you cooked looked amazing. I've only been sea fishing a few times, caught a few, but... Skipper said they're not good eating, but yours look lush. They're amazing eating. Whoever told you that, obviously don't like fish. They're amazing eating. Um, definitely try them. Same for old lady. She's making brownies, right? She's more addicted to seafood than I am. I don't believe it. There's not much I won't eat. Uh, she has texture issues. I win. <laughs> um. Oh, that's another spammer, isn't it? Just joined. Enjoy your post. What's the weirdest thing you have found foraging? Uh, it's an adult instrument. It's true. Uh, Jay, your stove you use, what gas canisters you use? 
Don't mind me asking. Um, I've got some fresh ones on right there. I use those. Uh, obviously, I'm not sponsored by anyone, but uh, Go System Butane. Yeah, that's it. Uh, they last about two cooks a bottle. They're not that great. Think I'm muted, so bye. Now you're still there, Jonathan. Jealous of your two hour exercise, laugh out loud. Loving the videos though, mate. You and Sam are brilliant together. Wish I could do Spider. Maybe one day, mate. Congratulations on becoming a full time YouTuber. Always look forward to your videos. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Um, It wasn't planned, to be honest with you. I was forced into it, but yeah, it's pretty good. Do you ever have people stealing from your pots? No, because my pots ain't in the water. Uh, my wheels, we're always next to them, so no one can steal them. Hi there, Jay. Do you have a favourite bass lure? I do. I have two favourite bass lures, but... Uh, Sidewinder Scary Zeal. And... Uh, the new Mura Shallow Divers. That one's had serious use. I had my PB Bass on the lure with that. That was a beast. <coughs> yeah, those are two, my two favourite. But, uh, like, the Max Wrap Long Range ones, they're great as well. I'm going to do a bit more bass fishing soon. I've, I've actually still got some bass footage. Uh, one has to go scuba diving, skydiving. I don't know, I like both of them. I'd love to do, well, thing is, I can't go scuba diving because of my ears, but I wouldn't mind trying skydiving, even though I'm scared of heights, but... What kind of work do you do? I'm a full-time YouTuber. They're a good lure, Jay. I use them a lot of defo killers. Yeah, they catch loads of bass, Andy. Uh, da, da, da. Love your videos, man. Upstate New York. Thanks, mate. I'll try them if I ever go. Uh, if I ever get out fishing again. <laughs> Adult instrument, yeah. I know what you mean, Master Fisherman. I enjoy watching your videos so much, especially your crab videos. Cheers. There's going to be one more coming, mate, and it's going to be the biggest crab so far. It's a beast. And Sam caught it. Uh, I'm so dumb I can't believe I haven't asked yet. What kind of freshwater fish can you get there? Uh, we've only got reservoirs here. So uh, we got a few carp in them and uh, a few other bits. I don't really know. I'm not a freshwater fisherman to be honest with you. But uh, we do have things that you can fish for here. But I can't give you enough information on it to be honest with you. Can my wife have her adult instrument back, please? <laughs> hey, Smash Fish, and I have a question. Have you found fossils? I don't think so. <clears throat> I can't remember. What is your all-time best foraging experience? Oh, I've had loads. But um, Sam getting his first big lobster out of a hole, that was a good experience. Um, yeah, I don't know, mate, to be honest with you. Smash, get a, a western salty or destroy the bass with them. Uh, sea trout will take them as well. Alright mate, sound. My eyes twitching. Blah. Yeah, another great uh, video up today. Thank you. And loving the underwater footage again. Interesting to see how congos uh, rolled for food. Yeah, for sure. I want to try and get some more underwater footage if I can. Um, what I usually do... It's because we're only there for two hours. We've got two cameras, so we get four hours of footage. And I, I sit there and go through all the footage. Uh, ba, 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 ba. How about oysters? To what time of the year can you eat them according to you? Um, to be fair with you, we don't really get a lot of oysters here. I don't eat them from most of the parts. But the ones we did get, uh, it depends, really. Uh, we've got oyster farms here, see? 
So we tend to gather the ones that are stray from the oyster farms. Uh, so wherever the oyster farms are, we eat them from there. Love your videos so much, bro. Been inspired to buy a little kayak and go fishing for Chris Packet. <laughs> any intention of doing any boat fishing or even owning a boat? I've had boats in the past. I've had a lot of boats, but um, I'm not on the roads yet, so it makes it difficult. Because I was carrying a five-horse engine down the beach. It was a pain. Me and Sam do any mullet fishing videos this year. Rob, I was actually thinking about that before. Me and Sam were talking. I was saying I could do with see, uh, going for mullet fishing. When we were uh, throwing the wheels out, we seen some big mullet in the well. So, we'll try it. How old are you and Sam? Sam's three and I'm 28. I love my ugly stick. I love my ugly stick. I've got, oh, it's in Sam's van, but yeah. Love your videos so much, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good, Chris. Hello from Virginia. Love your videos. Cheers, mate. All right, Smash. Hope you're good, fella. I'm good, Rico. Sam's van is full of. <laughs> is mullet nice to eat? It's delicious. Great video today, Smash. I was fishing today. Oslo, Norway. No mackerel. I think in glorious catch them before they come in north. <laughs> Going kayak fishing for my two hours exercise next week, Jay. Nice one. I hope you get some reds. Hey, Smash Fishing. Love your videos. They cheer me up. Uh, you are the best YouTuber in the world. Hopefully, you get to do more videos of lobsters and spider crabs. There's one coming, mate. Uh, you get ready for this spider crab, it's a beast. You often skip over to France? No, uh, I don't usually, but I do plan to in the future once everything calms down, obviously. How did you get into doing YouTube videos? Uh, I just, I was watching YouTube for years, and uh, I knew I knew quite a lot of like quirky stuff, like the wheels and bits and bobs like that, so... Yeah, just decided to start one day. Uh, I started on an iPad mini, uh, went to an iPhone 4, went on, went on to an iPhone 5, then a 6, then the GoPro 8. <laughs> um, yeah, best thing to do with YouTube is just start with whatever camera you got, keep uploading, and yeah, see where it takes you. Have you lived on the island your whole life? Yeah, for sure. You think there would be much Mackey down, down Roos? You mean Roos? I don't know about Roos, mate. Port Swath on the, in the main car park, on the right hand side you get them. You have it? All right, sweet. Good night. Cod fisherman tried to see how willing the Norwegian cod is. Caught a 25 pound cod and uh, uh, on a 250 gram jig head, baited with a 10 inch, Pink lady. <laughs> oh god, eh? There's a lot of people getting banned at the moment. Getting some hate. Uh, yeah, I watch Young Bloods. Those spider crab look good. I was jealous when you were eating them. I love spider crab. I turn into a savage though. I get it all over me. Um, what's that? Love the area you were crabbing. Looks like something from a film set. Unusual looking rocks. Yeah, it's quite dangerous where we're fishing as well. If you don't know the area, uh, you can get cut off by the tide and stuff. So you've got to be pretty careful. But uh, obviously, we've been going there for years. As a child as well. So, uh, like, it's second nature to us. like riding a bike, isn't it? Will you ever go full-time on YouTube? I am full-time. What don't you buy? Why don't you buy some crab picks and crab crackers to keep? I don't even know what that is, mate. To be honest with you. Um, 
So I hope you're okay. Take time to relax. Quite a hard time pulling those those muscles, throwing and hoisting crap. I haven't slept much in the last few days, I must admit. Um, yeah, but it is what it is. I don't usually sleep anyway. Any more plans on going... Oh, I'm going on Johnny fishing, no. Uh, that was just to prove a point, and I was just jammy to get a fish on it, to be fair with you. Uh, because uh, wrasse, they're predatory. If, they got, if you're in their territory, they more attack a lure than try and eat it, if that makes sense. They're just trying to bite it. That's why I caught it. Keep up the videos, Jay. Me and my wife, Sharon, love watching them. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate that, mate. Nice one. Uh, I'm in London. Got a great fishmonger who I buy. Uh, price going up fast. Yeah, I bet it is, Robert. Yeah, I bet. Uh, all fish prices are going to go up now, mate. I think everything's going up. Ever had an unexpected catch while fishing or crazy moment? Loads of crazy moments. Unexpected catch. I'm trying to think, I don't know. I'll get back to you with that one. I don't know, mate, to be honest with you. Uh, it's a shame about Sam's boat. I was looking for... Yeah, that annoyed me, Harry. But, I know, heart goes out to Sam. That was gutting. Hi, mate. Bet you a couple of weeks ago. It seemed like... Met you a couple of weeks ago, it seemed like a sound now. Cheers for the bass spot. Got my first one this year that that day. Shadow Flame. Met you a couple of weeks ago, seem seemed like a sound lad. Where was that? Was that was that you were you the two lads down Kobo? I'm trying to think, mate. I meet quite a lot of people on the beaches and stuff. Uh, yeah, were you down Kobo and Grand Rock? And I pointed you down to that, that low watermark. I'm not going to say exactly where it is, but I think that was you. But yeah, fair play to you, mate, if you got your first bass, man. That's sick. Uh, do you like cats? I like cats, but I'm, I'm actually allergic to cats. Uh, I swell up like a prune if I go near a cat. Jay, American crawfish are awesome. If you get the chance to eat them, do it. Yeah, I will do for sure. Nice. How are you dealing with the coronavirus? Is there any... Is there any confinement over there? Yeah, I just go down the beach for two hours and then come back home and lock myself in a room. <laughs> I think mean, that's what we're all doing at the moment. You know what I mean? I'm not going out socialising. I'm not going to the shops or anything. All I'm doing is literally going to the beach and coming back. That's it. But yeah, that's what we can do. Do you think Mackie down Portsmouth, if I drop some feathers down in the bay in the kayak? Yeah, if you do it uh, at high tide, Reds, you probably will, yeah. Uh, I've had mackerel there on, a, on the mullet float before, on bread. So I'm pretty sure you'll get them. eBay, the crab picks. Maybe like a little spoon. Oh, I'm not interested in getting little crab picks and stuff. I've got all that at home, but uh, it makes it makes us. Am I on 28k? Is it? Oh, I'm on 28k, guys. I didn't even know. I don't, it shows how much I watch it. Eh? <laughs> I'm more interested in making my videos, to be honest with you. That's why I haven't slept much. Um, that's cool. 28k celebration. Let's go. I have a shot to that. Yeah, happy days. Thanks for watching, guys. That's cool. <laughs> That's all I've forgotten what I was saying. But yeah, uh, Mackies, yeah, make sure it's high tide though, Red. So if you're going down Port Swath, mate, uh, it has to be high tide. You won't get them on the low. Uh, we got big tides coming up soon. If your kayak can take it, obviously stay safe, mate. But um, yeah, go after them. Oh, yeah, that's what I was on about. Crab picks and stuff. Like when I'm out fishing, I don't like to take too much, like, fiddly stuff with me. Like, I literally take this. It's got a cooker, a pot in it, spare gas bottles, and then like my foraging hook. That's all I usually take with me. Uh, mainly because I walk a long way as well, so yeah. Hey Smash, I recently brought a new fish fish lure and it smelled of brown sauce. Have you ever had this problem? No idea, mate. Um... I'm missing loads of comments, sorry guys. 
Great video smash, I really enjoy them and I've learnt a lot too. Nice one mate, that's cool. Look outside. Um, dead smash, I ate my Mrs. Mini Egg. Can you eat all the crabs that you come across? Yes, all of them are edible, but uh, some of them I wouldn't want to. Oh my god, I love that comforter. Laugh out loud. No fishing questions from me, laugh out loud. I don't care, Susan. Uh, I see you commenting on everything, so I appreciate you watching. You can ask what you like. How are you dealing with the coronavirus? Am I reading the same comments, or has he just put it again? Uh, I love cats. I have two kittens, and I am seriously allergic as well. I deal with it. Oh, I can't. No way. My eyes swell up, my tongue swells, and everything if I start stroking cats and stuff. No way. <laughs> Yeah, mate. Oh, it was you. Yeah, yeah. Fair play, lad, mate. Nice one. Uh, night time round there, you get big ones, uh, especially an hour before low tide. Like, obviously, I'm not going to I'm not going to say on here what the mark is. An hour before low tide, yeah, at night time, yeah, you get some big bass round there if they're in. Hello, Andy Scott, Harris, Barry, Captain Dano. It's like I'm watching live TV broadcast. Jay and Smash Fam. Uh, keeps me going with everything isolation. Yeah, Clay M, you're another one. I see you commenting all the time as well. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, love your videos. Cheers, mate. Um, does the government monitor how long you're out foraging? It's up to you to go home. Uh, there is a lot of coppers on the like patrolling the coast. But they're not like they're not like clocking you if that makes sense. Have you ever tried the crab snare to catch some spiders or would you? I probably wouldn't mate. Um just for the reason if if I snap off, then I'm leaving a snare down there with baiting. Which is I'm just gonna kill things for no reason. Like that's it just it doesn't fly with me that well, so I'd rather just chuck a wheel out. Uh that's just being honest with you, mate. I can see you from behind. Nice one. Um, well, I'm just going to skip to the bottom again, guys. Sorry. Hi again. Just finished watching your GoPro video. I love watching the crab eating your bait. I see a uh, Grandma Kirk. Uh, thank you for watching. I always see you commenting. Um, yeah, I've seen you comment on the... Or was it about the conga? Uh, yeah. No, I appreciate it. Nice one. Watching the Ipswich UK, love your channel. Cheers, mate. When are you going to go deep deep ocean fishing? We don't really have deep waters here, to be honest. We do more crabbing. Yeah, there's one common. There's another one. Off to bed now, mate. Stay safe. See you later, buddy. Uh, greetings from Russia. Brave crab warrior. Yeah. I take the medication for an allergic reaction. It helps. I'm fair play. I love, what was that? Sorry mate, I missed your comment. I think it was, I love feather fishing. I love fish, I love, I can't even get my words out properly today. I love feather fishing, always take a little barbecue from the, from the pound shop with me. The mackerel tastes good, better than the ones in the supermarket. Oh yeah, any fish is better fresh than in the supermarket. Uh, yeah, you can't beat fresh mackerel. Have you ever tried butterfly and mackerel and uh, cooking it like that? It's great, man. Hello, Smash. Brilliant videos. Where do you get your hook and plastic measure from? I make them. I think I've got it here. There you go. That was an old spear, right, that I shot a conga with, and it bent it. So what I did is I made a, I made a hook out of it, and then that's just a bit of softwood that I carved with a Stanley knife. Uh, these is just an old barrel. That's all it is, and then you just, you get the gauges, and I always make mine three mil, well, two or three millimetres bigger than the size limits. Uh, so I've got like orma, lobster, brown crab, and lady crab, and then um, cockles. Yeah, just, just cut up an old barrel, mate. You can make them out of anything. Uh, I'll tell you another good thing for making them. You know the, uh, the long-handled paint rollers? You can make just a, a simple one out of one of them as well. Uh, hello, smash, do, 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 do. 
Have you ever caught a bass while white lining a crab hook? No, I've found bass in rock pools before. Dream foraging channel destination. Oh, thank you. Uh, kimchi, thank you. Um, dream. I love it here. I'm just being. I'm being straight with you. I love it here. Uh, I'd love to go get some spiny lobsters though. That'd be cool. Uh, I think you get them in the states. But my, I love Guernsey, mate. To be honest with you, I love the spider crabs, lobsters, and everything we can forage here. Been sharing your vids with friends, uh, and they're sub now. Yeah, Valerie, I see you as well all the time. Thank uh, for commenting and stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. Really want to get a crab wheel. How do you get them? Make them red. Uh, there's a video. I think there's a live on how to make them. And there's a video on how to make them as well. They're really simple to make. Um, what am I missing? Susan, thank you very much. Appreciate that. What kind of music do you listen to? Rap. All the way from Fiji Island. Huge fan. Keep the awesome videos coming. Cheers, mate. Let's discover Fiji. Shout out to you, brother. Appreciate you, Jay. You always keep us sane. You guys keep me sane. And crave for almonds, lobsters, and spider crab. Oh, I can't beat a good old spider crab at spider crab season. Uh, the reason we hammer them during the spider crab season, because they're not here for very long. They're only here for a couple of months. Is there topics that you are auto auto muted mods? No, my mods are just trigger happy, to be honest with you. Um, if you could, if you could fish anywhere in the world, where would you go, and what for? I'd love to catch a uh, Goliath grouper. So I don't know where you get them from. Uh, rooster fish, I want to catch. Uh, the giant skate in Scotland, I'd love to catch. There's quite a few. I've got quite a few bucket list fish. I'd love to catch. Shout out, Susan. Should do a shout out for the petition. Yeah, I've got a petition on my Facebook page if you if you guys want to sign it. We're trying to protect a bit of reclaimed land. They've reclaimed a certain part and they want to take more of it. But all of that is great foraging grounds, yeah? And it's a breeding ground for other creatures. Uh, if you go on my Facebook page and you can just sign it, every everyone helps, you know? Have you ever thought about doing a video aimed at kids for foraging? Just an idea to play about, possibly. They will, the kids watch them anyway, to be fair with you, mate. I, I don't really know how I'd make a video like that. I'm not very good at being nothing but myself, to be fair with you. How would I make a kids foraging thing? Um, yeah, I, I just don't know how I'd make that, Rachel, to be honest with you. What's the nicest fish you have ever eaten is, I love red mullet, it's, it's great. Oops, my pinky got the four. You eat eel, yeah, I, I've done a catch and cook eel on the channel. Your videos are amazing, I've learned so much from you. Stay safe from Wisconsin, cheers mate. Smash, I remember one day we ate 30 mackerel. 30 Mackey straight out of a tie into the barbecue. I think I overdosed on Omega Free Oil. I bet you did, mate. Sweet fella, we'll give it a go. Nice one. Would you use your GoPro and do an underwater video swimming, getting crabs and eels? Yeah, I'm going to start spearfishing as soon as I can. Uh, I want to get out now, to be honest with you. The water's cleared up now. So, uh, yeah, that could come soon. I definitely want to get out spearfishing. Would you, oh yeah, managed to catch you on live, thought I was too late, hope you're all well, peeps, from Yorkshire, cheers Mick, appreciate you tuning in, uh, moderator can you get rid of him please, cheers Scott, see it's people like that, that I hate, that's why I like my moderators, because they're fast to get rid of them, um, Honestly, uh, your channel is very underrated, so keep up the great content. Cheers, mate. Uh, I love the process of, I love the progress of the channel right now, to be fair with you. It's like, I didn't even know I was on 58,000 subs until someone said. No, that's great. What is your favourite time of year for foraging? Springtime. Hands, hands down. 
Uh, Brian, that sometimes it's a bit annoying because sometimes you can find a massive lobster that would be completely squidgy and that is pointless. But sometimes you can find a giant lobster, and I mean a giant lobster, because they all come in to breed and to shed and stuff like that. So your best chance is that like one of the monsters is now. Uh, good question. Clee M, thank you very much. Thank you, always, and keep smashing. Always. Thank you very much. How'd you meet Sam? Rob, uh, he's with my sister. Met him about five years ago. Uh, to be honest with you, I hated him at the start, but then it turns out he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my life. He is. He really is a lovely guy. Uh, I wouldn't tell him that. <laughs> but now he is. Um, is there a link to this petition and does it matter if other sign from other countries? No. Um, you just got a sign, basically. The more names, the better. Uh, it's on my Facebook page for Smash Fishing. I can't link it from here. You and some of the peeps, shout out from Dublin. Cheers, mate. Shout out, Cleet M. Hey, Scott. I hope you and fam are well too, buddy. God, we're getting some haters today, eh? <laughs> Smash Foraging is... You sounds a bit dumb for centuries. Smash fishing is en enshired in EU law. Sounds a bit illegal to stop you guys gathering. Yeah, no, we're we're not governed by uh, the UK laws. Guernsey has its own law, so we're allowed to forage. They won't stop the fishermen. Uh, if, if if the locals here, like the government here, tried to stop the fishermen fishing or foraging and stuff, uh, there'd be a riot. Because uh, half this island fishes or forages. So yeah, they can't just, they wouldn't just go, oh, you can't do this, because there'd be an uproar. Uh, and people don't play around here either. If they, don't, if they want things to remain the same, the whole island will fight for it. So yeah, that's why I love Guernsey. Uh, we're very much a huge community, a bit like the Smash fam. Uh, need to come to Somerset, can catch some dogfish in the harbour and watch. I will supply the rum you cook. I'm game for that. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Don, I'm so amazed that people like that still exist. Thanks, mod. You're the best. Yeah, I've got some good moderators. We got we got a good bunch of subscribers. To be fair with you. Well done, mods. Why doesn't Glorious go on about Branson Bean? Is he just joking? Uh, don't forget to add the petition link under your vids day. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll put a community post up after this live. Uh, you guys might have to remind me, otherwise I'll forget. Are we allowed to go out uh, with a friend for our two hour exercise. As long as you remain two metres apart, keep your safe distance in. Uh, me and Sam have always got hand sanitizer with us as well. I mean, we don't show it in the videos because I don't want to just talk about it too much. But uh, we've always got hand sanitizer. We keep a good distance away from each other the whole time. Um, but yeah, just be just just have your noddle on, mate, basically. Because at the moment, uh, people are actively looking to hate on people for it. So... Uh, at the end of the day, people are going to moan. We try, but they're always numpties. Ah, uh, that's it. Exactly it, Andy. Uh, like I say, because of this virus stuff, people are actively looking for people to hate on. So, yeah, it is what it is. They are the best. Um, sorry, I'm missing comments here, guys. Uh, how do you edit your video so fast? Today was an Oscar. Well done, mate. I, I edited three videos today. Um, you, you get better at it as you go along, to be honest with you. And you, I, I went through, what, because of the two days, uh, four hours a day of underwater footage. So eight hours of underwater footage I went through to get the best clips. And then plus all the GoPro footage, which is usually about an hour of footage. So yeah, it takes me about 45 minutes of video to edit and process and get it all through. 
But uh, with editing and all that, it takes a little bit longer. But uh, sorry, with uploading and stuff, it takes a bit longer. But it's not too bad. Uh, you get faster as you go. You get used to the things that you use. You know what I mean? My daughter, that is free. Loves to watch your foraging. I love that. Uh, I've seen a lot, a lot of kids and stuff watching lately. It's great. How big does a lobster get in your area? And how big is that compared with the ones you catch recently? Uh, lobsters get quite big. Oh, they get massive. Uh, I've, I've personally seen an eight pounder, but I've, I've, I've heard of people catching 12 pounders. So um, yeah, it is what it is. But I catch things that are like a good size. They're not, they're not monsters, but they're like a good size. To me, they're monsters because I don't catch them often. Smash fishing, woohoo! That's two miles for me, which is great fishing harbour. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I love sound too, Dad. Uh, Dad and I just love, uh, love you both. And Jen, give Jen my love. I have to go. So good to see you. Thanks, Susan. Uh, you and Sam get on so well and make a great team. Yeah, same as me and Glorious. We. Us three, we very much bounce off each other, you know. Hi bro, how are you? I'm from India. I'm good, thanks mate. Uh, oh wow, thanks Suzanne. I appreciate that, thank you. My best catch ever was with my dad. Passed away, 75 Spanish mackerel and 35 Dungeness. Uh, I did hook into a monster blue cat in South Carolina. Couldn't land it. Oh, that sounds like a good catch though, mate. Nice one. Um, I'll tell you what I do. I'm going to ban that bloke. He's doing my head in. Let's just ban him altogether, yeah? Where is he? Sorry, guys. I'm just waiting. Oh, I can't see it. It's gone now. Oh, sorry. I hate people with racist names in his... Uh... In their, in their name. I hate it. Noise me. Nice one, Suzanne. Mods, please. Yeah, thanks, Mods. Uh, just keep getting rid of him. As soon as you see that bloke, just get rid of him. Don't want him anymore. Can you ban his name? Yeah, I can. Uh, when I get off the live, I'll look his name up. I'll just block him completely. You know what? I'm going to try them tomorrow, Glorious. I'll let you know. Uh, shouldn't, shouldn't Danny be stopped because he isn't... Commercial. Why would he be stopped? For what? Uh, he's, not, he's not doing anything wrong, mate. I'm on the verge of crying. Where's the Vimto smash? I don't know what you're on about. Where's the Vimto? Unity, brothers and sisters of Smash. You know it. You are working full time. You're the mods tonight. Have a good one all. Thank you, Susan. Appreciate your support, I really do. Um, uh, it's your boy Lester. I'm not going to say the last bit, but thank you, mate. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, what else are we missing? Hey, Jay, only noticed your life was on. Never got a notification for some reason. I'm getting that a lot, mate. I'm getting a lot of people saying they're not getting notifications for my videos and my lives. I don't know why. Uh, I've texted YouTube and asked them what's going on, but I ain't got a reply. Uh, YouTube can do one. <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, there's no human mods in YouTube at the moment. It's all automated. So anything that gets flagged or stuff like that, it just doesn't come up. What is wrong with people? Love spreads faster than hate. It's part of it. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm the person who likes to put myself on the internet. I've got to expect some hate as well as the good. Uh, the good comments outweigh the hate by a hundredfold, so the hate goes over my head, to be honest with you. Are you using Final Cut Pro? Not at the moment. I'm using just iMovie. What's up, Jay? I've seen you and Sam Spider Crab. Keep hunting. Thumbs up. Uh, Jonathan, there's another one coming. Well, Dana has a family man. Well, I agree. People like that do exist. However, they hide behind a keyboard anyway. Um, do you like editing? I find YouTubers 
not all say that's the worst part. However, awesome show. I love editing. I love editing just as much as uh, I love fishing. Uh, I love playing around with different editing styles and stuff like that. I always try and switch things up as much as I can, you know? Um, do you research humane killing fella? Because we often don't see that. Uh, no, I just, to be fair, I, I, always, I feel a bit bad if I just chuck something in the cook pot. So I always try and dispatch it first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's your boy. He's laughing, yeah, because he knows I don't want to say the last bit. <laughs> Human sound needs to start an eco tourist company, Seashore World Tours. Nah, I'm not into that, mate. Uh, Dave, I'm a YouTuber, mate. I just, I like YouTube. I'm not into doing tours and taking people out, and yeah, it's not my thing, man. But uh, for everyone, for anyone else, great idea. There is a lot of in the local aquarium that's 60 years old and weighs nine kilos. Whoa, that's a beauty. Oh, I tell you who caught a massive lobster, uh, Joe PK. If you check out that channel, look at the 17 pound lobster he got diving. That's a beast. I'm making my first crab wheel this week. Um, got two wheels from an old bike that was going recycling. Nice one, mate. Nice, let me know how you get on. Uh, Captain Dano said about a competition between you, Sam, and himself. That would be great if you did. Oh yeah, it's going to happen, Rob. As soon as all this band stuff's calmed down and the virus has calmed down, we're going for it. Uh, did you see Inglorious do his impression of Sam on yesterday's live? He showed his bum on camera. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I've seen that. Are you drinking crack and rum? I have no. Uh, lambs. Oh. Sorry, guys, I'm missing comments here, flat out. Humane killing options. Uh, we used to just boil shellfish live. Uh, to be fair, view, uh, when I was younger, I used to boil things live. But um, as I got older, I just grew a bit more hot. Like lobsters, I like to, if you wear the crosses on the top of lobster's head, if you cut towards the face of the lobster down, you'll kill it instantly and then just put it in the water. Um, yeah, there's no need to just dunk it in, but I can't, I can't be a hypocrite and be like, don't do this, because I used to do it. So I'm not going to tell you, oh, you're wrong, because, yeah, I just, like to, I just like to dispatch everything. Well, everything I can do, you know what I mean? Because I search same. I only see it because I search your name. It doesn't surprise me. We love you more, a thousand times more than any hater. Yeah, the haters can go do one. I don't care. <laughs> haters mean nothing to me. Uh, hope you are well. What is the best tasting thing you have ever caught? Ormers, lobsters, spider crab, lady crab, scallops, and oysters. And Dorsinia clam. Probably a few more, but I can't remember. <laughs> um, I love it all, to be fair with you. Where are all the lobsters at the minute? In, the, in quarantine? No, the, it's been rubbish tides. I can't catch lobsters unless it's um, a 1.4 tide or lower. Um, I may be able to get some on the 1.5, but I don't. I, it's going to be hard if I can. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I try to unclick. And click the notification bell on your video. Then I got the notification for this live stream. Maybe that fixed it. Oh, maybe then, mate. Oh. Right, I'm gonna skip to the skip to the bottom. Are you drunk yet? No, this is only my second drink. Smash. I'm gonna have to say good night. No problem, Lou. Off to the hospital tomorrow as the missus is being induced. Ah, oh, congratulations on the little nipper, mate. All the best. I wish you both all the best. Miss is going to hate you for a few hours while she's giving birth, I would have thought. <laughs> uh, yeah, congratulations for when it's born, man. Nice one. Kraken is closer to Jaeger than, than it. Fair enough. 
Bean squirts. Whoop whoop. <laughs> yeah. Really love your all my videos, mate. Wondering how they really taste like because I can't really eat shellfish due to allergies. When will be next warmer season? Next warmer videos. Hopefully going to be next week. Hopefully, if we can find some, because it's not the best tides. Uh, it's not the best foraging tides at all, so um, let's just hope we can find something. All the best, Luke. Hope all goes well, baby. Your face is getting so red. Awesome. I'm drinking with you, bro. Yes, yeah, because it's hot in here and I've got a hat on. Because I've got a big wig under my head. Uh, like your channel, just the way it is. Love the foraging videos. Y'all are lucky having crabs, lobsters and scallops. We mostly have mussels. Yeah, not so much the scallops. We can't just go get scallops when we want. Uh, we get more lobsters than we do scallops. Uh, it's usually after a storm. Uh, when the scallops get washed in shore a little bit that we find more. Thanks guys. What am I missing? Good night Smash sending you a pick of the wheel when it's done. Yes, yeah, for sure mate. Nice one. Just sign the petition. Cheers, Jenny. More the better. What's that? My missus sounded like a water buffalo during labour. During labour. <laughs> oh man, if she heard you say that, I bet you're not to be hung from a sling, mate. Can you tell us what your plans are for this year, Jay? What species of methods, please, mate? Mark, I can tell you. Um, I've got a lot of ways that I fish. Tons of ways. Uh, fish, forage, crab wheeling, crab potting, mullet fishing, conger fishing, bass fishing, bream fishing, gilthead fishing. There's so much I can do, mate. But um, it all depends what I come up with on the day, to be honest with you. But my goals for this year is I want to try and hit 100k by the end of the year. That's my goal. What are you going to use that crab pot you... Oh, when are you going to use that crab pot you built? Probably when the lockdown's over. You know? Well, when? Are you going to go squid fishing? Yes, when the squid turn up, definitely. Uh, I'm so happy you showed us how to dispatch the lobster, Kylie. I remember one time a friend got a live lobster for a barbecue and just uh, chopped their tail off while they're still alive. Saddest thing ever. Yeah, it's not nice. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't, I didn't have such a big heart when I was younger, I was quite, I was quite brutal, but, um, yeah, as you get older, you, uh, you grow a bit more of a heart, innit? How often do you get shrimps and prawns? You can get them anytime, there's loads of prawns around here. Mod's taking an Aussie into the van for a kicking, good work chaps. <laughs> uh, when can we expect another vid, mate? Uh, I've got one. Do you want a sneak peek, guys? If you all hit the like button, I'll give you a sneak peek. What's your name, mate? Jay. Or Jason or Smash. Hi from Africa. That's, that's, that's a long way, mate. Thanks for watching. She's asleep, mate. She'll never know. Yeah, you're lucky, mate. You get your ass kicked. Seems like it's not bad night tonight. Yeah, as expected, Andy. Can't always have it nice. Big respect all the way from Barbados. Really enjoy your videos, bro. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. You know, with all the things going on, you have an awesome Q&A. It's just too good. I uh, would love to be able to get, get you and Sam in Texas. Maybe one day, Chris. Maybe, mate. I'm glad you like the lives, mate. I like to do these just to chat to you guys, you know what I mean? It's great fun. Watching your video on crab fishing. I've never eaten crab. I'm going to try it now after watching this. You'll, you'll be surprised. Be surprised how good spider crab and stuff is. Alright, sneak peek. We on though, lads. I agree, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. You'll smash a fish okay, buddy. Right, you want a sneak peek, yeah? I'll have to come off the chat for a minute. You can see what I see. Right, here we go. I think it's still on here, unless I deleted it. 
If I deleted it, then it's too bad, guys. Oh, no, I think I did. Yeah, I've deleted it. Sorry, guys, it's gone. Give me one sec. Right, it's not there. Right, it's not up there. Right, just give me a minute. I will give you a sneak peek. I save all my, uh, I save all my videos. Smash fishing. Right, where's my box? <laughs> I still got the video. It's actually on YouTube right now, but um, I'm just not uploading it yet. Right, I think it's in that chip. Yeah, I think it's in that one. Uh, stop by say hey. Uh, and a wave, loving these videos. Which... Stay well to you and your mates and family. Cheers, Mike. Appreciate that, mate. Um... <laughs> Please send us a crab leg. All right, I'm just going to read a couple of comments and I'll, I'll, I'll get you back here, guys. I've got my disc off here. Stop by to say hey and wave. Officially need a new vid. Uh, the wife is now going to her second, going to her second addiction. Not spider crab, but spider solitaire. <laughs> Got to go. Bye. See you later, Warren. Right, Sam. Right, let's go. Right, I'm not going to show you a lot of it. Well, I'll show you some of it. Um, ah, oh, I'll show you this bloody dog, right? Is that, no, that's not it. Which one is it? Oh, yeah, it's that one. Right. For one, look at the size of that crab. As a beast. That's a beast crab. And look at that freaking dog. And that's all you're going to see, guys. Oh. I'll just get YouTube back up. Just a sneak peek. Yes, I force injected the bloody thing. Shut up. So I'm just getting the chat back up, guys. So there we go. Um, wow, well, he's huge. Yeah, it's a beast. Cared all about a dog. When you put in a video up, Jay, I will plan the kids' school work around it. Uh, it'll be in a couple of days, Rachel. What's your personal best bass? It's double figure, Rob. Uh, I can't give you an exact weight. I've weighed an 11 pounder before, but uh, I can't give you an exact weight. Uh, takes dogfish. That dog must have swum about, what, five or 600 meters? Easily. You'll see it in the video. I'm not going to give you too much away, but, um, yeah, we were baffled by that freaking dog. Has anyone else craving spider crab now? Because I am. I am as well. Hairiest dogfish I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, you are a big fan. Now that is a dogfish. Yeah. That dog, I swear to God, I nearly went, I nearly went for a swim. Put it that way. I was fully prepared to dive in after that bloody dog. Dumb my head in. Where did you get that metal frame from that you used to build your crab pot? Uh, that was off an old conservatory when I was on the building sites. 
Uh, I could there was this big extension thing like a like a sun lounge, and there was a big uh, like a frame bar there, and I just cut it up into sections. Uh, that's a whopper spider crab. That's one hell of a spider crab. That was a hell yeah spider crab. Wow, well, Jay, what a monster spider crab! But massive, yeah, it was a beast. I have four pits and a are super sweet, wonderful. Do you like velvet swimming crabs? Do you like, yeah, velvet swimming crabs are delicious. You ever done any coarse fishing? No, not really, mate. Do you do a video every day? No. Um, no, definitely not. Uh, I've just been pumping them out as I go lately, but um, no, not every day. Maybe the dog was on a hunt for a spider crab. Yeah, you could probably smell the spider crab. That's why he come over. <laughs> Bloody thing. Honestly, you'd be amazed when you see it. Yeah, spiders. Get them, get them, get them. Yeah, you know it, Chris. What's your biggest conga? Uh, around the £40 mark offshore. you got kids? No. Spider crab cakes? Yes, I'm there. Get the pan on. Nah, uh, I've done spider crab cakes before. But um, no, I didn't do it on this. I'm very into my just simple cooking at the moment. I can't be bothered with all the like riffraff with it. Uh, I'm a big lover of seafood just as it is. Uh, I am on in Ohio. I can't get spider crab. I've oh, got it. Yeah, I've been to Ireland though. What do you recommend as first time trying seafood? Depends what your taste is. Try a lobster. Try a lobster tail. Uh, either that or try any sort of white fish, white white flaky fish, you'll like it. I, I, well, I can't say I don't know you, but yeah, it might be good. Last time you had catfish, I've never eaten a catfish, mate. We don't get them here. Simpler the better, yeah. Whose house are you at, mate? My girlfriend's. Beautiful. We have Dungeness crab here uh, in season. Mm, so good and sweet. I've never tried that, but I'd love to one day. Smash, have you ever baked Pollock on a salt bed? It's great eating. No, I can't say I have, mate. Hey, Smash, if you grab your fish by the back of the head and rub your hand down the back, you won't get spiked. Easier way to take hooks out. Cheers, mate. What fish are you on about? Like, what, just bass and all that? Yeah, good point, mate. Um, I thought you were on about congas then, because conga eel, if you grab the head and dig your fingers into the side of it and run it down its body, it will stop it thrashing. Uh, they actually calm down. Hi, Jay, how are you doing? I'm good, Neil, thank you. You tried conga fish cakes? Uh, they're madness. I've never tried conga fish cakes, but I've tried conga scampi, I've tried conga scampi, Steaks. I've tried conga battered like chicken ball style. They're great like that. Whoop. Missing some comments. Big up smash fishing. Cheers, Ricky. Every time I catch a fish in animal fishing, I scream hell yeah. I love smash fishing. Woohoo, cheers. Come on, smash Ramsey. Come up with another recipe like the honey ormers. Uh, maybe on this ormer and tide, I might do something a bit special. I do have some more, I've got some more more ideas for them. Are you and Sam planning on trying top knot again? Nah, never mate. Don't forget to add the link for the petition under your vids. Uh, I'll, I'll make a community post instead mate. I'll put it in the community post. Today is a big day for my fourth school after four months. Only a few are allowed. Uh, but okay in South Korea, uh, but with precautions, hectic morning, but, uh, anything can keep me away, hell yeah, fair play, Klee. Um, Jay, when is the best time of year for spider crab? Uh, now, mate, right now, um, we got some big males in right now. Uh, usually, yeah, around August time.
When are you going to do another Velvet Swimming Crab episode? When the spider crabs leave. Uh, I value spider crabs and lobsters way over Velvet Swimming Crabs. But uh, I will do one. Oh, what am I missing? Smash, that works for freshwater eels too. They go to sleep. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Same as congas. Even massive congas, they go to sleep like that as well, mate. Oh my god, catfish, I just have a... How awesome your channel has has done for my for my mood. Mindset and zen type mentality. Love, love, love everything you do. I also make sure to add y'all to all comments. Nice one, Chris. Appreciate that, mate. Nice one. We always try and keep positive. My missus is cooking up cod in the air fryer with garlic, salt and pepper, crushed red pepper, lime juice and fresh lemon. Oh, it's making me jealous. I don't mind a bit of that. Um, can't wait for more ormus. Uh, that's, hopefully we get some because like I said before, uh, the tides ain't that great and the ormus have been hammered so like you, you, you've got to try and find the spots now. Night mate, battery dead charger. Three. See you later, Mick. Thanks for watching. Um, where do you go to forage? I can't tell you that, mate. Talking about fish, it makes me hungry. Yeah, same. I want to go eat something now. Um, how about a cook up with your bait? That's going to be a laugh. Maybe one day, Mark. Yeah, maybe. Um, depends how old it is. Some of the bait in my freezer is probably like four months old. As shore fishing, how can we... How can we get those 200 kilogram halibut from the shore here of the north? Hell yeah. Would be a kick. Let's go in August. I have no idea how to catch halibut, mate, to be honest with you. Would you like to go up near the Arctic... Uh, in Finland to catch king spiders through the hole in the ice. Yeah, that'd be wild cool. I'd love to do that. All good, Don. Thank you. Um, I've got some sweet paprika and some smoked paprika ready for you. When you get that P.O. box sorted. Cheers, mate. Definitely. Um, yeah, I will be doing that as soon as I can. Um, catch and cook mackerel. That's definitely happened, Ryan. Definitely. I love mackerel. Uh, my dad used to do something called deviled mackerel. Uh, Scott Harris probably knows exactly what this is. And um, I'm going to do that. You're a very positive person. You're always very upbeat during your videos. How do you keep such a calm and happy pers personality, I think you're going to say? I always try and take... In a bad situation, I will always be the one to try and pick out the best things about it. I'm always, I've always been like that. Um, I have my bad days, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm no saint. But, um, yeah, I always try and be as positive as I can. Uh, I'm not a big lover of being in a mood all the time. I, it, it would just annoy me. So, yeah, I try and snap myself out of moods if I can. But, um, yeah, there's no better way than being positive, eh, at the end of the day. And uh, positivity is very infectious as well on people. Like when my girlfriend's positive and I'm in a bit of a mood, uh, I will switch my mood straight away because she's positive, I'll be positive. You know what I mean? It's just one of them things. How many razor clams have you gotten in one go? Uh, when I was digging bait, probably 50. Uh, yeah, probably 50. But in a cook, I'll only take about five or six. Just because I only want them for food, I don't. I don't want them for bait. Is it bad to talk about Sam's boat? I was asking because yours got break it down and build some sort of trap and span the time me out. No, it's not bad to talk about Sam's boat. It's, it's just it is what it is, mate. It was an unfortunate accident and it it got washed up. Ever tried maki soaked in soy sauce before? You cook them. No, never tried them like that. Um, hello, Jay. I'm loving your videos. Watching you catching, cooking the spider crabs. Keep up the great work, mate. Woohoo! Smash fishing, hell yeah. Cheers, Lisa. Uh, there's another one coming. I don't know if you've seen the little sneak peek I did, but yeah. 
Would you do the deadliest catch job? No, definitely not, Neil. For one, it's really dangerous. And for two, I'm a YouTuber. I'd rather be a YouTuber than go risk my life every day on the boats, you know? My hat goes off to any fisherman. Uh, fishing in general, like, that's serious fishing, but even just normal fishing is dangerous, you know what I mean? It's really dangerous. So, yeah, my hat goes off to any fisherman. I like to eat mullet with red sweet chilli sauce. Rob, totally with you there, mate. You ever tried mullet, yeah? Wrap it in tin foil, right? Well, sorry, lay it in your tin foil with slits in, cover it in sweet chilli sauce, and put loads of flakes of uh, garlic all over it, fresh garlic, chop loads of slices all over it, inside it, bit of ginger, and then put lemon slices, but really thick ones, inside the cavity, and cook it for half an hour, mate. Ha oh, ha. Oh. Oh. You're making me bloody hungry. Didn't know Andy thought it was. Still where it was. Hit or mild, Jay? I don't know what you mean. Oh, oh right. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hit. That big spider crab looks delicious. Oh, yeah. Apparently, garfish tastes right. It's actually really nice, Ryan. Uh, a lot of people think it's rubbish because uh the green bones and stuff. But, uh, no, that's all right. Shout out to Admin, doing a great job. Yeah, they've been busy today. We've had quite a few, you know, what in here. I'm trying to keep my language down because YouTube's a bit sensitive with swearing and stuff at the moment. Not that I like to swear on my videos, but, you know what I mean? What's the worst day you've ever had out fishing for a dinner? Ever... Ever stuck out past the tide or something like that? No, not often. Uh, I've swum back from me. Bass fishing's the worst one for me because if I start catching big bass, I don't want to leave. Um, I've been up to my neck in water swimming and stuff before, but foraging and that, we're very careful. We are, for the most part, 99% of the time, we're very careful. So, yeah, I'm going to try our mullet recipe. Sounds lovely. Thanks for that. Rob, they are really nice, mate. Really good. Have you ever had Samuel Smith? No, I don't know what that is, mate. Deep fried mullet, then add soy sauce, garlic, chilli, coriander, lime juice, and deep fr Oh, mate, that sounds well good, Scott. Oh, you guys are making me hungry. What time is it? 25 to 1. We're still going live. I was really tired before, now I've woken up. Saw a video today from Africa. They get red almonds. Things were massive. Yeah, they grow huge, those ones. Ours only grow to about 6 inches. Theirs grow about 12, I think. Uh, I used to net for mullet in Florida. I used to smoke them. So good. Mullet are really nice. As far as that soup brand hasn't been mentioned yet. H word, that is. Uh, just an ego stroke about how awesome Smash is about answering comments. The most real and interactive YouTuber ever. Chris, I'm just, I just love to uh, chat to my fans, mate. Uh, end of the day, I'm no different to anyone else. You know what I mean? I appreciate everyone watching. I'm sure, was it okay that question? Oh, I don't know, mate. Ah, <laughs> uh, Scott Harris, you legend. Yeah, thanks to the moderators today. You've been busy, man. I've had a lot of hate today. Cheers, mate. Looking forward to your next by the crowd vid and hopefully the Orma vids. Uh, thanks for the vids. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Have you tried pelt? Pelt is a bit, it's one of those things that, it's nice to eat, but it's a great conga bait. Uh, yeah, usually if I get like a pound pelt, I'm always stuck with the decision like, do I eat it or do I just keep it as conga bait? And 99% of the time I keep it as conga bait because they're great. Have you ever tried, have you ever tried dill pickle, pickle chips for breading for your fish cooks? Chips work great. Oh, chips, you mean crisps. We call them crisps over here. Um, yeah, I've tried that, and it goes really crunchy, eh? Monkfish, the most ugliest fish, but one of the most delicious. What do you think? Yeah, I haven't eaten a lot of monkfish before. Um, but yeah, they are nice, mate. They are nice. A bit like conga, the flesh, but obviously less bones and stuff. Uh, we used to dive for abalone in California. Uh... Before we got shut down, our biggest was 9.5 inches. It was huge, and my wife got it. Fair play. 
That's a beef. Monkfish are really anglerfish, yeah. Mate, great Q&A. Love your channel. I'm passing it on to friends to watch uh, and subscribe. But got to come off live chat so you can watch Jaws and fall asleep before other day lockdown. F the haters. Fair play, mate. Nice one. Appreciate you watching, man. Have you tried lemon sole? Yeah. Uh, I had a £3.5... It was three five three, three pound five sole. And my dad cooked it for me and it was absolutely delicious. I haven't had a lot of opportunity to eat sole, but uh, when I do, I won't eat anything like a little pound one or anything like that. It has to be big. Uh, my dad calls them doormats. So, Rob, have you tried lemon sole? Most YouTubers who go live don't even look at the questions. I just turn it off or chat amongst the followers. Yeah, YouTubers run their channel whatever way they want, eh? I won't knock them for it. At the end of the day, I, I, I just like to sit here and chat to you guys, you know what I mean? Because then when you comment on my videos and I recognise your name, we, we got more of a connection there, you know what I mean? Yeah, at the end of the day, I want to run a community, not just, oh, it's my channel, you know what I mean? Well, I love the big crab you pulled out. Now that smash fishing, brother, what's the biggest crab you've ever caught? Uh, either a brown crab or a spider crab. I've caught a seven pound spider crab before. That was a beast. That was huge. Uh, that was spear fishing, though. Uh, some spider crabs can't fit inside the crab pots. They can't fit through the entrances. But when you're spear fishing, you can get the biggest ones you can find, you know? How are you? Hope you're well. Have you ever eaten crawfish? No, I haven't, Mark. I'd love to, though. Who's your favourite fishing YouTuber to watch? I love Deer Meat for Dinner. I, I love his channel, it's great. Um, TA Fishing. I, I watch quite a few, to be fair. I don't really have a favourite. But um, I do love uh, Rob at um, Deer Meat for Dinner. I love all of, like, not just the fishing and catch and cook ones with fish. I'm on about, like, the skin and the crocodiles and stuff like that. I love all that. That's cool. Ever wanted to go catfishing? Really fun to catch. Uh, not real cats, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd love to do that one day, mate, for sure. Timed out, did you eat Sam's crab? Uh, yeah, we ate the big one. I don't know why you got timed out, Rachel. Sorry for that. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what's gone on, but um, yeah, we ate the big one. Bloody right we did. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it, because obviously I, I want you guys to watch the video and enjoy it. I don't want to tell you nothing. Love your videos. They're really interesting. You have. Have you ever been to Cromer? I don't know where that is, so definitely not. It was crazy in today's vid how how that ear was spinning on the bait. Yeah, it was. Um, like I was saying before, Lisa, some some congas are really timid. They'll just come and like mouth the bait and won't do anything to it, and they'll just swim off. Others will just come in like a savage and rip it apart. What's good, my dude? Respect from Phoenix, Arizona. Love your content. Cheers, mate. AZ Gaming. I can't stop thinking about that huge brown crab uh, in the tyre. Biggest one I've seen on your channel, unless I missed something. Chris, go back and look at a coastal forage where I found two big brown crab. Those were huge. Trigger happy Barry. <laughs> You're right there, Rachel. I've eaten crocodile taste of chicken. Yum yum. I'd love to try it. Uh, I'm not going to go live for too much longer, guys. I've got back eight. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. If you've got some questions, catch a cook octopus. No, I won't do that. Uh, mainly because uh, I would love to eat. I love octopus. I love to eat it. But octopus over here are only making a comeback just again. So, yeah, I wouldn't eat one. I'd let it go. As your sister put Sam into quarantine, he's, he hasn't popped up tonight. I don't know what's he up to, to be honest. <laughs> he's probably got him zip-tied in the fishing shed. What's your biggest conga? Just under £40, Will. Love your beard. Cheers, mate. 
Enjoy the crab wheel vids, waiting for the big one. It's coming, John. Next video. Got that big spider. Uh, how often do you how how often do you catch trophies types game? Uh, we don't have game fish over here apart from sharks, really. Sleeping is hangover off. Yeah, he probably is. To be fair with you, glorious fishing for octopus caught. Or <laughs> you plugging yourself again, in glorious. Everyone go following glorious. That's what he wants. I'm not really asking for a shout out, but. Old lady just went to get a beer for a Q and A. I'm not really asking for a shout out, but my old lady just went to get beer for the Q and A. Fair play, Chris. Uh, I didn't even know you asked for a shout out, but shout out you, mate. Shout out, Chris. I'm off, Jay. See you later, Ryan, mate. Um, would it be really cool if you did a shark fishing? Yeah, maybe one day, Mark. My first job after leaving school was working for fishmongers. I learned so much and tried so many flavours. Uh, learning how to fillet certain fish is a very good skill to have. Keep doing cool videos coming. Cheers, mate. You and Sam. Uh, yo, Sam, there you are. Where's Sam? Was he having me on? Jay, in your opinion, what fish gives the best bite detection in the channel? Bite detection? Guilt heads, mate. Oh, when they take it, it's like, wha-bam, how that? <laughs> They'll pull your whole rod stand in. Keep up the good work, Jay. Your videos are definitely keep us all upbeat. Stay safe and well. Look forward to the next vid. Hell yeah. Thanks, Rachel. Appreciate that. No telling them about my octopus video. <laughs> yeah, right, Chris. That made the news... That would be great. Are there any otters on Guernsey? No, not that I know of. Sam, uh, in the house, just on out Samuel. <laughs> All right. Um, you always have a shout. Which? You always have a shout in Witcher Falls, Texas. Cheers, Chris. Take care, Jay. All right, I'll see you later, guys. I'm, I'm going to go to bed. I'm really tired. I haven't had much sleep in the last two days. We're not making bloody videos. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this live. I really enjoyed this. We had some good questions tonight. And thanks to the moderators, you've been busy. You know what I mean? To be fair though, I haven't had much hate at all on my videos. So it's quite interesting that like they're trying to hate on the lives. Love your videos. They inspire me to make content on YouTube. Nice one. Shout out Gamer Pickles 900 That's my last shout out of the night. Thanks you guys for watching. See you later, Chris. See you later, Scott. See you later, Neil. See you later, Rob. See you later, Chris. See you later, Will. See you later, Glenn. Madeline. Mark. There we go. I've had enough now, guys. <laughs> right, until the next time.